happens. I hate it when it happens, and it happens all the time. It happens all the time, especially in hospital psychiatry. The people that are in, they just want to get out. The people that are out, they just want to get in. And sometimes it works just right. Sometimes it's working. And you're in there and you feel like maybe you just saved somebody's life or something. You set them free. You got them out there. And it's so great and it's beautiful and it's great. And then sometimes it's down and dark. And it's all no. Inside is no. Outside is no. And you're looking for that little speck in the middle, the yes speck. The speck in the middle that's yes. And this is about all those people. All those people. But really, about the Chinese girl that we're not supposed to talk about. The one that hasn't been talking for two, four, six, no, now seven years she hasn't been speaking. This is about her. And I went to her house one day. And she's there, and she's there with her sister, her talking sister, and her father, her talking father, but only in Cantonese. And she writes, she writes, but she doesn't speak. And I look at her and I say, no, this doesn't seem right, no. You're young, you're beautiful, you're smart, you've got everything. Come with me. Do you think we can help you? I think we can help you. We can help you. Come with me. Come on, come with me. Don't make me call the ambulance. Just come, and she came. She came. She came and she went upstairs, and she was upstairs, and they said, no, I don't think she needs to be inside. I think she needs to be outside. Not inside, outside. She's manipulative. We don't do that kind of thing here. I think she's manipulative. We'll see her outside. So she's outside. She goes to an appointment. She's with her father. It's her sister's birthday. And she blows off that appointment. She shakes loose of her father. She goes to the second floor, the third floor, the fourth floor, which is really the fifth floor, and she jumps. She goes all the way down, all the way down to the tile floor below in the atrium. And everybody's running and screaming. But that isn't the end of the story. I wouldn't be coming here to Nikki Land to say that that was the end of the story. No, she lived. They scooped her up. They took her to the trauma unit. They took her to the ICU. Stay away from her. Nobody talked to her. No, stay away. Stay away. On to neurology. Nobody talked to her. Stay away. On to child psychiatry. Nobody go on that unit now. Nobody look at her chart now. No, no. And then she gets to be an adult. She's 18 years old. She's in adult psychiatry. That's me. Adult psychiatry. Great. Guess what? Now we can circle the ponies. Let's come around her. Let's do it. Let's come together. Let's all sit around and say, what do we do now? Come on, everyone. And I get an email that says, nobody is to go on to that unit to see the not talking Chinese girl. Nobody, 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 nobody. I write to my supervisor. It's very articulate. So my best academic, very experienced note. The summa cum laude note is written there in perfect sense. No response. I write to her, to her supervisor, no response. The director of all of social work psychiatry, medical psychiatry, no response. I'm going to the doctors. I send the same email to the doctors. I say, come on, no, no response. I see the head of all of psychiatry, and I say, listen, you know me. You know me. You've seen me in 9-11. You've seen me in this Hurricane Sandy. I walked all the way to the front, and then I stepped right over. You know me. You know me. You know me. You know me. We're on the same team. We're on the same team. And she said, yes, of course. Send me that email. Uh-oh. Could you just press pause for a little bit? Just press pause for the, because we're not, we're not quite there yet. We're not quite there yet. And so I get on that, I get on the elevators, and I say, no, get me out of here. Get me out of here. And just then, guess what happened? Then came out the boots. The boots that say, I go where I want, and I'm welcome when I get there. And just then, all the... So the elevators come flying open, and there's my friends. My friends are all right behind me. That's right. There they are. They're ready to go. And I say, hang on. 
All right, you could, you could catch me up there. I should have just gone. But I want to make sure you know the whole story, Doug. So then, go ahead. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Here we go. I'm going to the door. Stay back. Wait for the signal. This could be dangerous. And I case the door out. I case it out. Should I go under? Should I go around? No, I work here. I have the keys. I take the key and I put it in and it's like butter. I push it open and I walk right in. I walk right into that unit on 18 North. And I'm in! I'm in! And I'm utterly unarmed. Except for the secret weapons that are just falling down all around me. And my friends are there. And we're here. We're on. And I get up and I look for her. I look for her. I know where she is. She's over here. And she's scribbling like crazy. She's writing, writing, writing. And she says, why did you come here? And I said, because when you came with me, it meant that I would come with you. And you're here, so I'm here. And we are here. And she stands up and she kicks her walker aside. And she just starts going. And everybody else is just in the back. And they're all, people are streaming onto the unit right now. They're just going. And she doesn't give me a high five or a wink. There's nothing presentational about this. She's not trying to rewind to where she, somebody's plucking her off the rails or pillowing, pillowy soft catch on the way down. No, there are no heroes here except for this moment right now. The yes moment, the speck of yes. It's right here. We're here. And then I hear... Crisis management team on the 18th floor, and I see it. The hospital police is running toward me, and I'm running towards him. And then we freeze and we look at each other, and I know he works downstairs with me. And the smelly, as horrible, as crazy, as loudest, most violent times we look at each other at the end of the night and we say, Are we swinging from the chandelier yet? And we both laugh very hard. And then all just turn into one big yes, they fly off like buttons on a, on a white collar shirt, they just ping off the wall, and we're all there, and Nancy Lee goes down the hall, she's walking, she's in the ping pong, and she starts to knock that ball right out of the, out of the hospital, out of New York, she's out, she's out, she's out, and then I come together, and everybody's there, and we just hear all over. Everybody's coming in. Everybody's going out and coming in. It's Pat Benatar. Love is a battlefield. And everybody sings up. We're all together now. And we're all just going. 